All right, let's try and explain this again. So let's just uh, load in a model. It can of course be whatever, it's just for this uh, example. So this uh, thing you want to print rotated a little bit like this, of course. All right, what people normally do when they want to print stuff like this, they got a lot of support here on the back side, of course, and a little local raft that just touches the build plate in a small area. And I guess this is uh, to save resin. What happens is that uh, all the areas on the on your build plate, you know, where you're not placing any resin, right? Uh, you don't want this to get light, and you expect it's not getting any light because you expect this screen to be completely black, and you expect it to be completely transparent, where it is uh, uh, printing. But this is this is not possible. This is not how it works. So there's a little bit of light that goes through the black black areas uh, of your screen. And, and with a bottom layer, you know, exposure time of a lot of extra, extra time, you will actually cure the resin just slightly. Not so it's really stiff or sticky or anything, but you can cure it a little bit. And, and it will stick a little bit to your film as well. So when you build up and you come up to your model, you will see that the back side of your model is a little bit out of focus. And that is simply because of these, uh, the, this uh, little bit of uncured resin that is now, you know, getting much more light and is now sticking to something, right? So to avoid this, I will show you a little trick, and that is to uh, to add a full size raft. So you go into support, and then you add the the raft, and uh, as you see, um, I have. If you go into the, you select the raft setting here. And then you see the three different light, medium, and heavy settings. See, I have exactly the same settings for my raft. The, this is important. So you have the skate type, and then you have all these settings. So when this is set up, it doesn't matter which one of the um, support settings you have. When you go in here, you will get your raft. So, so, so that is uh, how it works. 120%. That means it is a little bit bigger than uh, my uh, my object. So this is what what I want. I want to clean this uh, entire area. So now I can add my manual support, and uh, so it's easier uh, for me to add manual support if I hide the raft. It, it it has some sort of auto you know hiding, and it's when you zoom in and out like this, and sometimes it's not doing it, and it's. A little bit weird when you want to see you know areas like this right so what you do is you just hide it with this uh, layer view and then you can zoom in here and then you will see okay here I want to add my manual supports and then you carry on add more here for stability and so on and so on right so yeah that was uh, how to add raft and manual support